Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be finally back with another video. Today we're going back to the core of my channel and I'm giving you an updated curly hair routine. My hair is really, really long at the moment, but it's very healthy and I've finally gotten it back to a good place. I had a little bit of a moment with my hair where my texture had changed a lot. So I've been working behind the scenes on, you know, just getting my natural curl texture back to what it used to be it is still a little bit different because my hair is so long so it's very weighed down however i'm feeling like the curls are really nicely separated they are curling right from the roots and it looks a lot more like my old hair than that little moment i had at the beginning of the year obviously you guys know i have been through a lot of life changes this year which just means i haven't been as consistent on youtube but i've been super consistent on all the other platforms that i'm on and i have a lot of really exciting things coming up in the performing realm next year that i can't wait to share with you guys but it's been so fun to just sit down chat and go through my curly hair routine with you and just feels super nostalgic so guys my hair is very long i'm very happy about it it's been like a year and maybe five months since I chopped it all off, which I chopped it to here. And now look at that length. I will say though, it does need a little bit of a trim right now. It's quite dry on the end. Da, 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 da. Where's my gel gone? I know I love you just thinking of you. It hasn't changed much in terms of this like styling however in the shower my routine has changed and that's made a really massive difference to my hair in using the briogeo well actually i've got them right here these are the mini sizes but i use the full sizes in the shower i use the briogeo scalp revival charcoal coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo looks like that and i also do like their mask i don't use this every time i use this every time i have a shower like every time i wash my hair but i also do like the briogeo don't despair repair been using new masks from curly girl movement which is this brand you guys know i've loved this brand for a long time and i love those hair masks so those two two things together have been making a really big difference um yeah i literally have switched from shampoo and conditioner to like always using a scalp care product and then always using a mask to really treat my hair properly i'm going to spray my hair down with lukewarm water just to like open the pores a little bit i just washed it but i did my makeup so I have been using a brush lately to style my curls, but not too intricately. And it's a round brush, which is a bit silly, but I can't find my other brushes right now. So we're just going with that. All I'm going to do is part it in the center for now. Focusing on scalp care as always. I like to use some sort of scalp serum every now and then. Today I'm going to use the Kerastase Symbios uh, Anti-Dandruff. Serum really gives me weightless curls. It doesn't weigh my hair down from the roots. If anything, I actually get more volume and more definition of the curl. So I like to just apply tiny bits of that kind of all throughout the scalp um, and just evenly distributing that with a little dropper. Two full like squirts of that. That's not how you say it, but you know what i mean now that that has been evenly distributed i'm going to just give it a little bit of a massage into the scalp okay that's been massaged in now to the scalp and i'm going to separate my hair off i never used to do this but i feel like when i do want to take extra care of my curls i have been doing it in sections especially because there is so much of my hair at the moment i'm going to use products that you guys know i love and i'm sticking to products that i love so usually it's cpr it's curly girl movement and it's briogeo also i love davro so this is the curly curl control cpr defining cream this is a defining cream not a leave-in so the difference is this is going to have more hold more stability more defining structural elements for your curls rather than just like conditioning the hair this will actually help to style and set the curl um and what you can normally tell the difference between a leave-in and a curl cream it will say it but a curl cream is going to have just like a little bit more stick and a little bit more hold to it like rake that through i tend to stay away from leave-ins purely because i don't need the extra heaviness that they can give you. I don't need to weigh my curls down. Not all curl leaving creams are going to weigh your hair down, but I just, I just really like this styling option instead. So now I'm going to like juice that in 
like a milk and a cow. I really like how my girls are looking without brush styling. So instead, I'm just going to jiggle that product in. Like I like to jiggle to release the natural curl. And then I'm going to just give it a good scrunch. So I have not brush styled or overly manipulated my curls. Okay, I'm going to add a tiny bit more water as I keep styling today as well. Because I want nice hydrated hair. And I'm just going to show you this is what my hair looks like with just the curl cream. And now I'm going to use the styling curl defining gel, sorry, from Curly Girl Movement. Love this. Been through heaps of bottles. And I really like the texture of this gel. It's not overly sticky or heavy or crunchy, but it does have kind of like a flaxseed gel consistency to it. So it's quite lightweight. So you can like be you don't have to be sparing with the products like my hands are pretty much lathered in this and i'm going to scrunch and use one hand for each side of the hair i'm going to really scrunch and squish that into the curls oh you're doing youtube mm -hmm. good stuff <laughs> let's see look at those curls they look really really good all right time for the other side I'm just going to do, not the other side, time from the top half of the hair, I'm going to do the exact same thing. You're putting shoes on? Yeah. I'm going to wet this down a tiny bit more. Taking that curl defining cream and raking it through. Are you learning? Are you watching me? <laughs> right, I raked it and I'm just going to like Squish it in. Oh, top section is really quite clumped, so I'm going to use my brush just for the top section because I don't want my curls to be clumpy. And I'm just going to jiggle like that. Okay, and jiggle. Okay, now I'm going to scrunch that in again. Curl cream is added. Jesse, Jesse, come back. That's looking really good. Now just to do the same thing on the other side. Now all that's left is to add the gel back to those top sections of the hair. And then we'll move on to diffusing. So I like to coat those top sections with the gel first. And I'm going to scrunch that right in. Curls are popping off today, guys. See, this is what happens when you actually take care of it. <laughs> so I'm going to diffuse, and I have so many diffusing routines, so I'm not going to show you that, but I'll show you the results. Okay, I'm so annoyed that I can never really show the full result of my hair on YouTube because it just doesn't fit with landscape. She looks gorgeous. Look at those curls. Really healthy under there, which perfect. Nice and shiny. amazing i love the length i feel like i have really beautiful amount of just like shine and health so everybody that's my updated hair routine for 2023 the end of 2023 it's long it's luscious it's separated it's shiny and i'm super happy with it i love these products they're just my go-to's keeping it real with you guys thank you for watching today's video it's so nice to be back i'm going to try to keep uploading as the year progresses but as i said in previous videos it's so hard to keep up with everything that i'm doing at the moment but i do love you all i love you